So today I was going to do a plant tour around my bedroom. I have just the one bedroom and in this room I have 54 plants that I'm going to show you. I think give or take plants die, they come and go. I try my hardest with them. Sometimes the inevitable happens. So, and I also, even though I have so many plants, a lot of them are duplicates for plants that I really love, like the bare paw succulent or the ficus elastica. So I also, I'm very new to plants. So if I get the pronunciation wrong, or if I just like completely forget the name or butcher it all entirely, please forgive me. Also, if you see something that's like really gonna kill my plants, you're like, oh my God, she has insert plant name here and this insert type of situation that's gonna kill it. Please tell me, cause I'm new to plants and I don't know how, no, I do know how to look after them. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with them per se. I try to look up as much information, but I feel like with the whole of Google and this big wide world of information for plants, they almost contradict themselves of how much information's out there. So if you know something exactly and that's how your plant lives and thrives, let me know. But yeah, so I shall show you around my room and see what kind of plants I have. Let's, let's go. One. Disclaimer, I haven't cleaned up. I thought I'd show you this real, raw, my mistakes, my mess. So just ignore that, please. Thank you. Right, so the first plant I'm gonna show you is one of my newest plants. This is a peperomia. I think, let me check. Yeah, a peperomia happy bean. And as you can see, it cost me three pounds. I literally got it because it's called happy bean and if that doesn't want to make you buy a plant then i don't know what you're doing here this is a hothia hothia uh he's dying uh i tried to repot him because he was root bound but i don't think i did it very well i think it was like like just put light in this basically if you're wondering what is underneath this little pot it is a string of piles it is dying it had some weird bugs that ate all its roots and it got root rot and i don't know what those like pests are that's why he's in this quarantine jar hopefully i repotted him and i'm trying i had to cut those roots off so i'm trying to propagate him in mud i don't know how well that's gonna work wish me luck these are two string of turtles this one is put out minimum growth as you can see this one has put out tons of new growth he's going for it he's racing you're losing. Catch up. I don't know why. They're literally just chilling next to each other over there. He's just loving life. This plant has made me so happy since I got him. I actually had to repot him up into a tomato pot that I was growing tomatoes in because if you don't know, I like growing vegetables and I started growing vegetables in January of this year. This is a Monstera adansonii. And when I got him, he was in, like, this pot. This teeny, tiny pot. And so I repotted him into this bigger pot. And he is loving life when I got him. He only had, like, that leaf, that leaf, and that leaf. And he's put out all these new leaves. And I love him. He is really, like, I recommend if you, like, are new to gardening. Or houseplants. I mean houseplants. If you're new to houseplants and you... You want to get a lot off of your plants, like you want to get them like love right back. This one is great. This is my favorite leaf. Look how pretty he is in the sun. And he is, where is it? I saw him. There. 
growing a new baby leaf for me again. Like, I love him. He's 10 out of 10. Here is a succulent. Now, I cannot pronounce this succulent's name for the life of me. No, I'm not even going to attempt that. But yeah, he's cute. I like his little wibbly wobbly outsides. He's lived. He's okay. He's enjoying life there. This is my Talansias. Um, I just put two of them in here. For now, I want to hang this up eventually, but I need to do that at some point. This is a plant that I got at the Dobby Garden Centre on sale. And I've just noticed the tips of him have just started to go pink, so I think he likes it here. I don't know. He hasn't shown any struggles. He looks like he's just pretty enjoying it in this windowsill. Also, if anyone wants to know, I have a west-facing windowsill. So it's, it gets a lot of afternoon heat, so I have to be careful to make sure my plants don't get burnt. So far, nothing has happened. They seem to be fine. This, I don't know, I think it's a jade plant, but it was 150 and it was in this teeny, like, look how tiny he is. He's so cute. So I just got him and I hope he survives because he's cute and tiny and I'm tempted to get like a whole little army of these tiny little succulents and just put them in these little gaps between the bigger ones. Okay, so I actually have three African violets in three different places in my room and I don't think this one likes being in this much sunlight because his leaves, like not his leaves, his petals are kind of falling off. I'm not sure when, like when do their flowers die off and then I'm just left with foliage, I'm not sure I need to do a little bit more research into them, him. I have my bear paw succulent, one of the first ones I got. Okay, if anyone is a expert of bear paws, I don't know, can they tell me what is going on here? I tried looking it up online and I don't know, is that a burnt leaf? Because no one says like, suck, like bear paw leaves burn. But he's just done this thing, is it does he need filtered water instead of tap water? I don't know why he did that, he just kind of like deflated. Oh, he's got a little ugly paw, but it's okay because I still love him. Behind him, we have my um, Gasteria ox tongue, which I love. He's Burt Point 2.0. I have another one in my shelf that was my first ever plant and one that I brought back from the dead. I know he likes to be a little bit back from sunlight, but I'm just seeing how a bigger one can cope in this window. So I have some eucalyptus plants that are dying. We'll just ignore those don't look at those i tried to bring them back it's not working that is i had a bunny eared cactus who had rot i brought him literally back from the shop and he died um but he, these little thing he was like he died but one of his things still grew and they grew these little three little ones so i'm just gonna keep them there see if they grow at all if not just have them as three little baby cactuses here is a big succulent i got him on sale for like three pounds and I can't remember his name same with this this is a cactus it's it has yellow flowers it's Mexican it has a cobweb on him I think that's just a cobweb and not spider mites hmm I will have a look at him later this is my second bear paw succulent that I got from Dobby's Garden Centre. Yep, I think I got these both from Dobby Garden Centres actually. One was from Shepton Mallet and one was from Shrewsbury. So Dobby's Garden Centre, in for the win if you want a bear pot plant. Another Tillandsia I have. So I got this plant years and years ago and I kind of let him die, but he didn't actually die. He survived this whole time and I repot him and I put him in this pot and I'm gonna see if he lives, basically, see what happens with him. I think he's a Horfia. Horfia? I don't know how to say it. Horfia? I think he's one of those. I. He was in a pot with no drainage and I never watered him. And he's like three years old. So hopefully he will make it. This is a cactus that I got from Wilkinson's two years ago. And I water him once. That's it, just once in its whole life, I think. Also, house plant get it mm. very nice this is a plant six or a hedgehog plant it is related to aloe vera 
that is all I have to say. Um, ow, he's spiky boy. A string of hearts that is kept in the windowsill. He's hanging up, he's still in his nursery pot. I have a Christmas cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus. I need to do a little bit more research into this type of plant because I'm not really sure how to look after him. You probably hear that a lot from me, that I need to do more research. Here is a Peperomia Eve, because she's a plant queen. Plant queen Eve. By my TV, I have my Ficus Elastica, my ZZ plant, and a Sansevieria. Mother-in-law's tongue. And they don't get much light, so I do have a little grow light situation happening there to help them this is like my skincare where i do my makeup sort of area i have a i can't actually get his pot out so i've kind of forgotten what he's called but he looks like a little crocodile i'll put his name somewhere here i have oh this is a my other africa violet african violets and it seems to love it here the flowers are all pretty nice the leaves are around. I think you might need a water because this pot kind of pushes his leaves up and I, the way I can tell that these plants need watering is their leaves will go like from like boop to like boop really obviously and then another Sansevieria mother-in-law's tongue there in a really cute little pot so I had this little plant section set up um I actually if anyone's wondering how I prop them up this is a little like a shoe stand it cost me 250 from ikea but i just wanted to put them up a little bit more so that it got more of the window light because i feel like the further down they are the less likely they are to get that light i have a monstera deliciosa and as you can see he's put out some new leaves there he's a new leaf he's a new leaf that's a new leaf he's loving life here i hope are you he's in this giant pot and he's so cute I have another ficus elastica variegated version and I have another ficus elastica variegated version. I like this one because he was so small so I picked him up and I also I shoved some string of hearts into the side of him. I so when I bought him from the shop I looked at these leaves and I was like wow I want him and I bought him and then I got him home and I was like wow they underwatered him so I'm I'm not saving him because I think he's fine, but I'm just loving him extra. I have a Cathlia here, a prayer plant. Are they, is a Cathlia a prayer plant? Is it called? Because this one moves like so much during the day and night that when I first brought him home before I knew that they moved, I was like, oh my God, he's dying. Help me. But he's fine. He's loving life. His leaves aren't crispy at all. He seems to be... Okay, I love his little pink bits there. I think they're really cute. I then have this Marble Queen Pothos and this Golden Pothos, which he's growing. He is growing. Again, if you don't want a Monstera Adansonii, but you want a plant that shows it loves you, get one of these because the amount of leaves that he's put off since I've got him, I can't even point to you. I can't even tell you what he's put out because all of this is new growth here. All of this is new growth here, and he is just a lovely plant. I love him. This is a Peperomia frost. This is a fern. As you can tell by my voice, I'm not the biggest fan. He is really difficult to look after. I water him a lot, and I think he doesn't like the heat of my bedroom. My bedroom's quite a hot room. Like I said, it gets a lot of afternoon sun, so it could be that, I think. I need to move him. But right now, he's just chilling right here. Uh, the one above him is obviously an aloe vera plant. And with a little baby Yoda in him, drinking some broth. Because I love baby Yoda. We are coming to the last bit of my plant tour. So this is my last ficus elastica, just the normal kind. He had a leaf damage to me in the mail, so that's sad. Here is a philodendron with his little love heart leaves. And he is putting out tons of new leaves too, again. I love him. This is a Peperomia. I'm not sure what kind. I got it because I love the variegation on him. This is the plant that got me back into houseplants. His name is Bert. 
he has babies. I bought him actually for my boyfriend as just like a cute little gift and he was dying so he had to come back to my house and I nursed him back to life and now he is huge. He loves it. When I first got him he just looked like this little bit here. I'll see if I can like pop up a little photo of what he looked like when I first got him and he is huge now and I love him. Just so you know I didn't really like succulents before. I got him. I didn't really like houseplants before I had to nurse him back to health and he inspired me to do all of this. This is my other African violet who is doing well. He has just been watered recently as you can see his leaves are like bing, like love and life. What is that little damage? I know you're not meant to touch the leaves on these because they don't like it. They don't like you touching them. I don't like people touching me either so we have a mutual understanding. This, oh, Daddy Mando. This, this is my coffee plant. He is doing okay. Again, I, well, I need to dust him actually. But he is doing okay. He's growing. I don't see much growth on him, but he is alive still. This is my bonsai plant. I love my bonsai plant. I love my cat pot. I love his leaves. I love him. Love him. This is a Hoya and my beautiful friends and it looks like I kidnapped my friend's dog which I technically did for this photo so that is my friend's dog Pip and she is a queen but this is a Hoya and I don't like these leaves are like this but these two leaves are like wow I like looking at them I like having him this way facing me he's like he's waving hello see this is a bromeliad that I got from Dobby's on sale. This is the Chinese money plant in a cute little pot like the others. Here is Wally, more baby Yoda, and a begonia, do they call it a begonia spotty eye? I think that's what that's called, a begonia spotty eye. And my last plant that I got in Manchester at the Manchester florist shop is this Hoya Lineage. It is huge. He is about the same height as me, if not taller. And actually, so I thought maybe he needs a water and I can tell that he needs a water because these are really droopy and usually they like stick out a little bit more. And he has also put off tons of new growth since I've got him. He is, he doesn't live here by the way, I just put him here when I'm filming because otherwise he'll block the camera because he actually lives in my window. He seems to like it there, he's enjoying life. Those are some plant pots that need to come down and be dusted. But yes, here is this Hoya Lineage. I think I'm going to cut him here and try to propagate these things and then just have a more fuller plant rather than just one vine who's like Woo, doo, 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 doo. but yeah so that's my Hoya that's my plants actually I hope you like them uh, again any tips tricks or anything you see that I'm doing so drastically wrong let me know all right bye I forgot I had more plants hiding around the house so I shall take you to those plants now. So I have an asparagus fan. He lives here in the window. I think he actually enjoys it. This is a lot less light, as you can see there. He doesn't get like direct sunlight, but he gets a lot of light just surrounding him all the time. It's quite cool down here. So I think he actually really enjoys it. It's a bit cramped for him, but he's fine. He likes it, I think. He's not dead completely off topic but I'm sewing these little spooky boys for Halloween and I love them and I'm so proud of them and they're so cute I just wanted to show them off okay bye